Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The next generation of high-end Vario headsets might be upon us. So yes, finally we talk about high-end VR again. Why would I say so? All right, let me show you something here. This is LinkedIn. And this is Ida Emilia Kaukonen, the wonderful community manager of Vario. And she has posted this here on her LinkedIn yesterday. She says, this, 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 register, <laughs> that's all. And it says, Vario, immerse yourselves. 27th of November 23, sign up for the Vario special event. And then there's a link and there is this picture of a four. Now, when you click on that link, you're going to go here, sign up to Vario's special event on November 27th. And that, that is not very far in the future, right? Today is the 14th of November and the 27th. Join us on Monday, November 27th for a special event streaming live from Vario's headquarters in Helsinki, Finland. Register now to unlock the next level of immersion. All right, <laughs> all right, next level of immersion sounds like a next generation headset probably. And well, what also points us to this conclusion is obviously this lady here and that number four. So, well, four, why, why four? If you know a bit about the Vario headsets, well, you will easily find out that uh, their current headsets are the Vario, oops, the Vario XR3 Focal Edition, the Vario XR3 and the Vario VR3, and there's the Vario Aero. So yeah, so the, the current generation is simply the third generation, right? And well, they teasing that number four, it kind of makes us think that this might be the next generation of, of their headsets, right? It makes also, it makes lots of sense. <coughs> the third generation has been around for a couple of years already. It is time for an upgrade. And well, would there be any better timing than now, right? Just like a couple of months before Apple joins the arena. I think now is the perfect time to launch the fourth generation of headsets. Yes. Obviously, I would hope that this might be an Aero, right? The Aero 2, because well, the Aero 1 is basically the VR 3, but for us consumers. So in general, Vario, Vario, how to say that? Do I say Vario or do I say Vario? Dear Vario, please let me know in the comment section how to pronounce your name. Um, so, so yes. Obviously, I would love this to become like the next um, consumer headset for us enthusiasts, right? For for us who want to have the next big thing for Microsoft Flight Simulator. But I believe this might be more the business line of headsets that they will show. But you never know because, you know, just recently they had um, they had like a crazy sales or they still have a crazy sales for their Vario Aero, right? The Vario Aero, it, before it was like $2,000 um, excluding tax. Now it is only $990 excluding tax. So they cut it in half, probably because they just want to get rid of all, this, the, all the stock that they still have from the Vario Aero to make place for that Vario Aero 2. Who knows? You know, so yeah, this could also be it, right? Could be a Vario Aero 2. Or it could be like the Vario XR4 and at the same time, the Vario Aero 2. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it might be so many things. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm super excited for the 27th of November. And obviously, I will um, live stream this event and we will find out together what they have in store on the 27th of November. So very soon, very soon, most probably we're going to get that next generation. And yeah, the, the XR3, it was already really amazing. The best pass through that I've ever seen in a VR headset that's on the market, right? Yeah, it is better than the Quest 3 pass through, in my opinion. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they come up with 
with the vi with the next with the next headset that obviously in my opinion they will show us here on that on the event event on 27th yeah so so where would this new headset um, um come into uh, in 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 this industry right now so in terms of uh, business headsets, Vajo is doing an absolutely amazing job, right? They have lots of customers. They are doing really well. And yeah, they're, they, they are doing a great job. So other companies are also in that space. So the Xtel from the VR engineers in, in Prague, they, they, are, they are selling um, yeah, the Xtel in, in that area. And uh, well, they also have a really great headset on their hands. So, so that's that. Then um, the Somnium, the Somnium VR1 is also going to come out. I don't know when exactly, but but hopefully as soon as possible. And they are um, more um, selling this to consumers, but I believe that also quite a lot of um, um, companies want this headset so i'm looking forward to get more information about the somnium vr1 just like all of the community so looking forward to find out when when this is going to come out so this this might be a direct competitor to that new headset that we will see if we see it if we see a new headset on 27th of november but i i'm pretty i'm pretty sure about that i'm pretty sure about that yeah so so that's the somnium vr1 and then of course there's also pimax here with their crystal okay they have a lot of <laughs> lots of deals here on their website it's crazy i look at so many deals um yeah with the primus crystal of course that is on the market that is um, targeted at consumers but they're also actually also selling this to enterprise yeah so very interesting very interesting and of course there's also the big screen beyond an amazing headset uh, unbelievable form factor um, their target is the consumer, the enthusiast, us basically, right? And this only costs like $1,000. And I, I, well, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of the Big Screen Beyond, completely different form factor, micro OLED, and something that I can recommend to you. <laughs> if, you if you are a VR enthusiast and if you want to have like a small headset. Yeah, so this new device, will probably compete against these headsets. Some of them, or all of them, who knows, depending on if this is going to be um, a business headset or a headset that is more for consumers or probably for both. Like, I don't know, XR4, Aero 2, who knows? Probably something like this. Exciting, 27th of November. Mark that date. I will definitely... Yeah, cover that. So if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now. If you want to stay up to date about that event, if you want to uh, join us in uh, thinking about what this might be, come to the MRTV Discord server. I have made a, a special a special channel where we can think about what this might be. And the link is down in the description of this video. And now I want to hear from you. What do you think? is Vario showing us on the 27th of November. Are they going to show us the fourth generation of their business headsets? Are they going to show us the second generation of Aero? Or is it a device that is probably both? <laughs> Do let us know down in the comment section. I can't wait to read your comments. And well, I can't wait to meet you on the MRTV Discord server. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You know what? I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.